Hello everybody, this is Tim Cooper from National Parks at Night, and today I want to show you how I set up my Wacom tablet. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do, of course, is to go to the software that controls it. So under Applications, we have Wacom Tablet, and under Wacom Tablet, we have the Wacom Desktop Center. Double clicking on that opens up the center, and this area allows you to go exactly to whichever setting you want to adjust or control. I'm going to go to pen settings here. Now by clicking on pen settings, I've actually gone right to the grip pen, but I could also go to the touch part or go to the functions part. And I have all of these controls all over the whole tablet and pen. Now, as I'd mentioned in the text of the blog, um, I am basically dumbing down my tablet here to make it more uh, efficient for me. I don't need the 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity and a massive tablet size to do the work of a photographer. Working in Lightroom and Photoshop is pretty simple. And the things I need is basically just the pen. I just want to be able to use the pen rather than a mouse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the grip pen here by clicking on that. And you'll see down here, that there's two little buttons and those little buttons are right here on the pen and there's a bottom button and then there's a top button. And right now they're set to right click and double click. I believe that's the default settings, but that's not the way I want them set up. For example, if I am using the, the pen as it, uh, as it ships default and I accidentally hit this as I'm hovered over something, I get a contextual menu or a right click. Now that's pretty cool. And a lot of people might like that, but for me, I accidentally hit it more than I would like. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to disable both of these pen points. Now, what I can also do is I can also customize the tip field, tilt sensitivity and uh, double click distance. The tip feel, I like it to be soft. And what that means is I barely have to press on the uh, tablet for it to be a full click. You can see that this little blue line here is showing you how much pressure I'm applying. So I'm just basically tapping it. And that's what happens at soft. If you have it on firm, you've got to click and then really push in hard to get it up to that maximum. And I don't like that. I like the soft. But again, you can set it any way that you'd like. The double click distance, if you just... Um, tap your, your nib, which is the, the front of the pen here. If you just tap that twice, click, click, um, you're going to see that little blue line up here showing you how fast you're clicking. And some people might want to be slower or faster on their double clicks. I tend to prefer a little bit faster. So I'm going to go to large. Tilt sensitivity, I never mess with. It seems to work just fine at normal. So straight away, what we've done is we've gone in and we've dumbed down the pen a little bit to work as just a clicker and a drawer. So next we're going to go to mapping. And I think this is where most people tend to get really held up. Um, let me put it this way. What we have is we have the tablet, which you can see down here on the screen. And then we have our monitors. Mapping means how much of the area of the, uh, the tablet is going to map to the screen itself. Now, what we also have is screen area mapping. So you can see in the video that I've actually got two monitors set up. So I can either do full portion monitor one or monitor two. Well, monitor one right here is where I have, and you can see that monitor right here. That's where I do most of my work. So this other monitor back here is just for tools and other things like that. So um, I don't necessarily need that. Uh, I don't need my mouse or my pen to map to that. If you wanted it to map to both, you would just go to full and then you see the whole entire tablet is going across both monitors here. Okay, so I'm going to go back to monitor one. Now, this is the important area, folks, tablet area. Right now it's set to full. And what I don't like about that is that I physically have to move my whole entire hand all the way up to the left-hand side of the tablet to get to the upper left-hand portion of the screen. If I want to go to the lower right-hand section, I've got to go all the way down here. Now look how much I'm having to move my hand. 
I don't want to have to move my hand around that much. Now again, for graphic designers and others that use this as a painting and drawing tool, that may be perfect and give them the level of control they need. But for me as a photographer, I just need a tiny little portion of the screen. So what I'm going to do is go to portion and these, uh, these squares represent the active area of the tablet. And right now it is set to full. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it much, much smaller, something like that. And I'll even leave it maybe in the upper left hand corner like that, because what I want to do is I want to rest my hand roughly in the middle of the tablet. And this is why I prefer a medium size tablet. They do make smaller ones that are less expensive, but I like the bigger one so that my wrist is actually on the tablet itself. Now, what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to just simply move my mouse up like that to the reach to the upper left hand corner, which you can see I'm actually doing or move it back down here to get to the right hand corner. So now I'm not having to move my whole arm around, but it's just a little flick of the wrist to go across the whole entire screen. And folks, I think that is probably the most important control that you can set on your tablet to give you more uh, or more precise control over uh, your entire tablet area. All right. So just to recap, what we've done is we've set the pen tool and um, we've disabled these. We've customized our tip feel and double click distance. And then we've simply changed the mapping to a portion that allows us to move around the screen very quickly just by moving our wrist instead of our whole hand. Now, of course, there's plenty of other functions that we can work with. We can go to the functions here and we can set these little buttons to do all kinds of things. They can be right clicks. They can be left clicks. They can be navigation. Um, you could do a keyboard keystroke or modifier, undo, redo. There's so much here to explore. And if you want um, a much more full explanation of all of these options, I would recommend going to uh, Wacom.com and, uh, and checking out their tutorials there and their videos. They have quite a few. So I hope you all found that uh, helpful. Um, again, really pretty basic. And uh, just make sure that when you set up your Wacom tablet for the first time, that you give it some time, meaning you practice and you practice. The first couple times may feel a little bit weird. Don't get discouraged. Um, just uh, keep at it and keep using it. And two or three times in, you're going to become a pro. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time.